How long can a budding young superstar be loyal to his boyhood club as his talents progress beyond the challenges that they can provide him? That's the dilemma that's going to soon be facing Lennon Miller if it's not already, as the young Scottish midfielder develops into one of the best wonder kids in the world. But what makes Lennon Miller so good? And when will he leave Motherwell? And will it be for another Scottish club, or will he have to go elsewhere in Europe to find the challenges that his talent requires? We're going to talk about that next, but first, we have to answer the question, who is Lennon Miller? It's difficult to fly under the radar in today's football world, but one place you can get away with it is in Scotland, particularly if you don't play for one of the country's biggest clubs, Rangers or Celtic. And Lennon Miller doesn't. But even coming from Motherwell FC, a club known if not throughout Europe then at least in Scotland for developing young talent, Miller has drawn attention as a teenager wise beyond his years on the pitch. And we're going to get into exactly why that is here on Soccer Wonder Kids at the Pitch Side Pub. But before we do, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me down below so you can follow the channel. Get down in the comments section, where would you like to see Lennon Miller end up and how long should he stay at Motherwell? You can also leave comments on Twitter at PitchSidePub and check out the website PitchSidePub.com. With his technical prowess, tactical awareness, and versatility, Lennon Miller has become a player who's being followed closely by scouts not just in Scotland but all over Europe. The son of former Scotland international Lee Miller, Lennon was born in Wishaw, Scotland and didn't have to journey far to find his footballing home just a few miles away at the Motherwell Academy. Miller first gained relative notoriety in August of 2022 when he became Motherwell's youngest ever first team player, coming on in a Scottish Cup game against Inverness Caledonian Thistle just days after signing his first professional contract at 16 years and 6 days old. Labeled as Motherwell's brightest prospect in years, Miller became a first team regular the following season in the fall of 23 until he suffered a broken patella that kept him sidelined for three months. Still, Motherwell saw enough from their youngster to extend his contract through the end of the 2026 season, and despite the injury and being just 17 years old, Miller still managed to record over 2200 minutes for Motherwell across all competitions. Fast forward to today, Miller, still only 18, has established himself as a key cog in Motherwell's first team, having appeared in the majority of league and cup games to date. Despite his youth, Miller has extensive experience for his age, having logged over 50 first team appearances and over 3,500 minutes for Motherwell, and has played multiple midfield positions. Lennon Miller's technical ability is what sets him apart from most of his teenage peers and is what has allowed Motherwell to deploy him in such a wide variety of positions. Physically, Miller stands at 6 feet tall, giving him a solid presence in the middle of the park. His imposing stature, coupled with a smart football acumen, allows him to win battles in the midfield. For a player so young, Miller demonstrates a superb command of both pace and space, often adjusting his tempo depending on the situation. His ball retention skills are impressive, and he's rarely dispossessed. Miller has been deployed by Motherwell almost equally across the midfield spectrum. His ball control in small spaces make him an asset in attack, as do his passing skills. Miller also shows a willingness to drive forward with the ball and push into attacking spaces. This makes him an unpredictable player who can take on multiple responsibilities, whether it's orchestrating build-up play or joining an attack as the dribbler. While he's strong in small spaces, you could argue that his vision and awareness play even better when he has more space around him, which typically happens when he sits deeper in a more defensive position. His ability to see the field and execute long passes can get lost when he's pushed further up the field, but when he sits deeper in a midfield or holding role, his sharp vision and game awareness allow him to dictate play from deep, consistently making intelligent passes to teammates in tight spaces. His comfort on the ball, combined with an excellent sense of timing and positioning, enables him to play with confidence even under pressure. That combination of touch and vision can unlock a vicious counterattack against an opponent's press. Now out of possession, Miller is an aggressive ball hawk on defense. He's constantly fighting for 50-50 balls and taking on dribblers. However, there are areas where he still needs to refine his discipline, especially when it comes to tackling. 
Sometimes overly aggressive in his pursuit of the ball, Miller will need to learn how to channel his physicality more effectively as he matures and plays against continually increasing levels of competition. Those are all adjustments that should come with time with such an intelligent player, and for now, Miller's instincts for the game are what sets him apart from other teenagers. We talked about Miller's versatility and his ability to play multiple roles in midfield as needed by his team, and it's that versatility that leaves his future role with another club largely undetermined. Motherwell has deployed him as an attacking midfielder due to his ball control skills, but his future at higher levels is more likely to be in a deeper defensive position, where his decision making and ball hawking abilities will be put to use. Regardless, it's his tactical flexibility that makes him appealing to larger clubs, especially in a situation with a young player where developmental paths are less certain. Whether orchestrating attacks from a number 10 role or sitting deep as a holding midfielder, Miller's intelligence allows him to adapt to the specific needs of the team. In deeper roles, he shines as a reliable ball distributor, often transitioning defense into attack with pinpoint passes. His range of passing from short intricate build-up play to long diagonal balls is a hallmark of a top-class modern midfielder. He's drawn comparisons to players like Scott McTominay and Callum McGregor, whose versatility and ability to cover multiple areas on the pitch make them indispensable to their teams, though the need by many to make comparisons only to fellow countrymen perhaps limits the ceiling of those comps. In actuality, I could see Miller developing into a first-team player on the type of club that typically makes deep European runs, and the profile could look anything like Tiani Rainers from Milan to Manuel Ugarte with Manchester United. But why such a wide range? Well, simply put, because he can. On the Athletics 18 player roles chart, Miller could profile anywhere from a deep builder to an advanced creator, depending partially on his development, but more so on the needs of his future club. Despite his early successes, Miller's game is still evolving, and it's this potential for growth that excites scouts and coaches alike. His ability to switch between defensive duties and attacking flair without missing a beat is a rare quality, and one that makes him an exciting player to watch in years to come. Having signed a contract extension that keeps him at Motherwell through the end of the 26th season means that Miller's future is at least temporarily secure. However, it's only a matter of time before bigger clubs come calling. Scottish football is known for producing exceptional young talent, and Miller is already on the radar of some of the top teams, both domestically and abroad. Clubs like Celtic and Rangers, who always keep an eye on emerging Scottish players, are already rumored to be interested. His impressive performances both in the Scottish Premiership and on the international stage at the under-21 level have also made him a target for English and other European clubs looking for the next generation of midfield talent. The only real setback thus far in Miller's career has been the three months he missed with the patella injury last year, but with 3,500 first-team minutes already under his belt, that is far from being a concern. And his ability to play both attacking and defensive football means he has a lot of options moving forward. While his development at Motherwell continues, the Premier League, La Liga, and other top European leagues will likely come calling soon. Miller's story is one of promise and potential. If his developmental path continues on its current trajectory, there is nothing that should stop him from anchoring the Scottish midfield for a decade to come. And while Motherwell fans are loving his development and watching this young star grow, even they know that it's only a matter of time before he leaves for a bigger stage. But where should he go? And when should he go? Get down in that comment section. Let me know what you think about Lennon Miller and what his future holds and what's best for him. You can also leave comments on Twitter at PitchSidePub. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me down below so you can follow the channel and check out the website PitchSidePub.com. Thanks for joining us here on Soccer Wonder Kids at the PitchSidePub.